Hey there, in the previous video I showed you how to shallow copy a list, and I think ultimately we can make a deep copy. However, I, I know I said I was going to show you that in this video, but I want to work with nested lists a little bit first, so we can be more familiar with them before we talk about deep copies in the next video. Do you need help advancing your coding skills? Check out my new program, Code Breakthrough. Code Breakthrough offers hands-on learning with Python and data structures, algorithms, and interview challenges. With a supportive community and regular new content, Code Breakthrough will help you get hired or advance your career. For a limited time launch special, use the link in the description to get 20% off your subscription. See you there! So a nested list is just when you have a list inside of a list. So in this situation, we have a list that says Amazon Prime and Netflix. So if you want to grab that list, consider it to be one element within this bigger list. So it's going to be index two, because we have zero, one, and then two. So if you want me to prove that, all you would do is say print and then pass in my favorite things and then square brackets index two. And when we do this, we actually get a list returned. So we get that list returned and now we can treat it like any other list because it is. So we could use indexes to grab elements. So to do that, we just do another set of square brackets and pass in data here. So this is going to grab Netflix and print it out to the console right here. So if someone asked you what my favorite things index two is, you would say it's a list. If people instead asked you what index two index one is, you would say it's a string, in this case, Netflix. This is important to understand because we can actually have several layers deep of lists and it's very dynamic. You don't have to have it in a perfect 2D structure or anything like that. So we can actually go in here and we can make Netflix its own list. And maybe we could add some other streaming services in here. So we'll put a comma and throw in Hulu. And now when we get index two, index one, we're actually getting a list of Netflix and Hulu. If you wanted to grab this string, you would just pass in another square, index zero. And there you go, Netflix. Now keep in mind, anytime you're working with a list, there are different functions you can use with it. So for example, let me back up one index here and work with that nested list of Netflix Hulu. Because this is a list, we can get the length of it by passing it to the len function. And running that, we get two. So now to go back to the whole concept of mutability. If you remember, I've mentioned strings are immutable, but lists are mutable. If we have a list of a list, we have to be very careful when copying it because of this mutability concept and the fact that we can do aliasing. Stay tuned for the next video because I'm going to showcase an example where you need to really be careful with this mutability thing because of aliasing and it could be helpful to you but it might also bite you in the butt so stay tuned and I'll show you that.